We're the two gay reapers. Hey reefers, we just got out of Nick's aquarium. We've spoiled the tank a bit. We've got a few things to make the tank feel better after its Christmas hangover. It's had a few issues. Had too many beers. Had too many beers the tank has. That's not the tank. <laughs> Either or, who, who can say it's been Christmas? So, yep. you know, it's all been a bit of a blur, but we'll go through everything that we've done over the holiday break to fix the tank and its little issues. And we'll show you what we've got as well. So we got home with all the spoils for Reefzilla. So a few things we got, we got, this is what I'm most excited about, new light. This is to replace the Gen 4 that fell in the tank when it was being moved. So instead of repairing it, we upgraded. Yay! Really excited about that. Thank you to Nick for helping hook us up with this light. We have a bracket to go into the pendant hanging kit. And this just prevents it from stretching apart. And lights with, falling in the water. And lights falling in the water, exactly right. So really happy to have one of those. Most importantly, we have some fresh food for the fish. Got to get this in the freezer though. We had run out, we were down to scallops. <laughs> Cut scallops and half the fish don't like that because it's too chunky. The joys of being an hour and a half from the shop is that we can't just drop in there exactly. as often as we used to. <laughs> and we have some replacement blades for the flipper because we have lots of scungy marks on the inside of the tank that I haven't been bothered cleaning off properly. So that's important. And the blades just don't last forever. Yeah. And of course, we have lots of acro. <laughs> so now that we've fixed the issues, in the tank, I'm confident to put some more acro in. Of course, you're probably wondering, what on earth were those issues? Well, that's a story and a half. <laughs> We've been doing some work around the house. Some of that work have ha has meant that the power to the tank has been off. One time it was off for four hours and we didn't really have enough flow in there. It was a little bit hot. That probably was at the start of all the issues. We went on holidays. Before we went on holidays, the skimmer started overflowing, so I turned it down. Forgot to turn it back up when I got back home, so that really hasn't been skimming a lot while we've been away for, so that was the last, what, two months? Nearly? <laughs> Just over a month. <laughs> Just over a month. We also have upgraded our Wi-Fi network at home. That has caused issues because none of the apps that control any of the devices make it easy to just switch over to a new network. One of those was the Neptune. That was hard. I found the answer on a YouTube video comment of exactly how to do that, a link to get to the setting page to actually do that. Not easy. Don't do it if you're trying to if you've got an Apex, don't upgrade your network and rename it or anything like that, because it's difficult. <laughs> the other issue was the ReefWave. So ReefWave was running smoothly, so I just took my time trying to upgrade that to the new uh, network. Of course, I tried to do that in the middle of a water change because I thought that was a good time to do it. And we had connectivity issues, we reset and everything like that got it half functioning again. One controller seemed to have just decided to only do 40%. I couldn't do custom programs. They weren't saving to the reef waves. Oh, it was a mess. So basically we had like half the amount of flow that we should have in the tank for probably three or four weeks. <sighs> That's not good, obviously. <laughs> Finally got that fixed, we found out that it was just a network issue. So instead of having to replace a controller, all we had to do was reset the network and everything started working again and now- And we found that issue when we were trying to fix the Apex that wasn't connecting to the network. Yeah. So 
Yeah, that's when we found the network issue. I wish Apex had an alarm saying, oh, you've got connectivity issues to your, to your network because that's the reason why sometimes you'll find that everything will switch off on your tank and then restart without notifi notifications. Apex is bad for that and I don't know why or how to set the alarm for that, but anyway. If you do know, leave a comment below. <laughs> yes. The other thing was, sort of glad we had issues with the wave maker because at that same time when we fixed the wave maker, we found right here next to the anemone, under that rock was something dead, decaying, scungy, totally disgusting. Sucked it out during a water change yesterday and it was feral. Don't know what it was. Might be a sea cucumber. If it was, that would explain why the tank hasn't been doing well. That would explain a lot of things, but glad that the reef wave wasn't working at 100% because otherwise that would have been blowing all over the tank. But you may have found it sooner. Well, there's that, but I'm trying to look on the positives here, okay? <laughs> Basically, because of all this instability with everything, everything was cruising along well. We lost a couple of SPS frags, about three or four. Um, we did lose two fish, unfortunately. We lost Pikachu, our banana wrasse. He didn't make the transition from sand to no sand very well. I think that was the issue there. He just was used to sleeping under the sand and then we put him in a bare bottom tank and he was not used to it. I don't think he was sleeping properly. So unfortunately he passed away. And then just in the last week, probably when whatever was rotting under there, we lost Yoshi, our fairy wrasse as well, unfortunately. Really upsetting, but nothing we can do there. So tank's been a bit ugh, which is why I'm glad that we can sit here and really spoil it today and give it a bit of a, nearly a fresh coat of paint. <laughs> don't paint the tank. Don't paint the tank because it's glass and then you won't see in the tank. Yes. You get the idea. <laughs> Easiest thing to pimp a tank, spoil the tank, is to put new blades on your scraper. We don't do this nearly enough, and it always makes a huge difference because I should also get in there between replacement blades and put, and get an eraser, or a dry eraser, and like try and clean the glass a bit that way. But too lazy, I don't like putting my hands in the tank that much. So we've got some blades instead. So it's usually fairly easy. Of course, the one day I say that, I don't, won't be able to do it. Okay. That was a little difficult just because my hands are wet. So I got that on, we can put it back in. thing to do is put in the spacer into the pendant bracket. Oh, so at the moment we have bits of styrofoam in there wedging the light in there so it doesn't fall straight through. Hopefully this will stop that from happening without the styrofoam. <laughs> and without losing another light. Yes. Should we put the net cover on top just in case? Yes. Just in case. So yeah, we've learned the hard way. Lights can swim, but they don't survive the swim. Loosely well, give us time to catch it. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this one, everything needs to be moved over. Keeping the styrofoam in there for now. So putting the bracket as a spacer in the center. We hadn't have got something like this. My next thing to do was to wrap the foam in black electrical tape so you can't see it. <laughs> classy. I know, it would have been very classy, but I'm glad we've got this solution instead. Once again, thank you to Nick for organising it for us, because we had no idea. 
Yes. So we have the Radeon XR30 Pro because we have a nice period of daylight in the middle of the day. We go for the Pro, which is the white one, not the blue. And last time we were in such a rush, I didn't get a chance to actually open it. And this is my first unboxing experience opening the new Ecotex. That's pretty. As you can see, a shed load of LEDs there. The fun part. And do we push the tights? Yeah. I'm sure a lot of you parents out there over Christmas got sick of doing this. Even your non-parents, everything comes with cable ties these days. Too much cable? Yes. So we're plugging it in. I'm not going to show under the tank at the moment because it is a mess. Oh, and it's on. Okay, now to program it. So can I have my phone? <laughs> no. <laughs> so adding a new device to Mobius is really, 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 really simple. First of all, I've got to find the app on my phone. That's Where the hard you? part on Darren's phone. Just saying. I just forgot what it looked like. <laughs> Opening up Mobius now. Going to the device screen, devices. Add a device. Oh, it's come up already. So all I need to do is select the one that's come up. Okay, so it says update. Do not close the app or unplug it while you're updating. Good thing about the Ecotech products, the updates usually don't take very long. I shouldn't say that on camera though. I think I'll probably jinx myself. <laughs> Now, obviously having four lights over the tank is gonna make a big difference to the tank. So after it's updated, we'll go through and set up an acclimation period, probably of about a month, I would say at this rate. Will that be just the one, the new light or all four lights? So all four will probably dim, but because there's an extra light, you do have that extra coverage as well. So it's best, best off to do the acclimation period on all four, not that you can do a separate light, but it's best that it's all four because we've got another light in there and all the lights are closer together so there's more overlap as well. Oop, cool, just as it turned off. <laughs> so it's updated it, it's just installing it to the light now. It's off. We can leave the app during this period but we're not going to. So you can see a big difference in the tank without the light. Should be coming back on very soon. Setup complete. And as you can see, it's just dropped back down into intensity to match the other three lights, which is nice. So now we'll go in here, we will go onto the lights, we'll go acclimation, switch it to on, 30 days remaining. Okay, so we're gonna start the acclimation at 40% and run it for 30 days. So that means every day the lights will get that little bit stronger and then at the end of the 30 days, we're up and running. So obviously the best thing to pimp up your tank is new coral. So 
Now that we're pretty confident we've solved all our issues, I'm really happy to put some new coral in. We're really going a lot slower this time. We're putting in a batch of corals, seeing how long they last, what, what, if there's any issues, things like that, before going ahead and putting in more coral. It helps that everything's so far away now. <laughs> so that leads to patience. And I think we're gonna be better reefers for it. So let's go through our esky over here and see what corals we bought. Cool. cool, so what have we got? We've got a lovely Echinata. Got some nice SPS for the tank. This is a nice little fluoro green acro. Not just your normal fluoro green though, it actually has some blue growing tips, which Nick pointed out to me. This is a nice little war coral. That one is a big chunky green robusta. This is a fairly interesting one. It's not bleached. It is actually a white acro with dark brown polyps. More like a uh, cookies and cream type of acro. So the box states that it's effective against a lot of coral hitchhikers, especially nasties like Acropora eating flatworm, Montipora eating nudibranch, and also red bugs. So with a load of acro, that's the type of stuff you want to avoid going into your tank. So this should be good. Success. Hey Siri, stop the timer. Okay. So we take everything out, give it a good rinse. Now, I don't have any final placements for any of these corals yet. So it's more or less trying to find a spot where I can put them. And they'll probably move later. Yep. Cool, we'll let the corals all settle into the tank. I've got some glass cleaning to do still. <laughs> Little few rough patches. We'll come back, we'll show you how the tank looks now with the new coral and the clean glass, the new lights, everything all nice. But let's see you tomorrow. Hope you've enjoyed today's video it's been a lot of fun doing this one if you have like comment and subscribe like comment subscribe like comment and subscribe and as always be excellent to each other and keep it salty everyone bye for now see you guys Han trying to work out what we're doing. Say hello to everyone, Han. Han. He's very handsome.